and here I am, the return of the psychedelic meathead. But can I really call myself a meathead anymore? So I'm back in, believe it or not, I'm back in England. I'm not in Peru anymore. I come back to, uh, to England in the beginning of April and now it is the 1st of September. So I've been back in England for a few months and my trip into the, the world of ayahuasca was profound, life-changing, um, earth-shattering, universal, moving, God's wrath of energy striking down kind of craziness um, from what happened over there. So I've been back in my country now for a little while trying to uh, adapt and to process everything what happened to me in, in the jungle. My last video I posted was when I was in the Tree of Life talking about what it's like to uh, open a dieta. So that video, yeah, when was this? Um, I made this back, I'm sure it was in February at some point. And when I had this spirit of uh, orc opening my diet and I tell you what, like that was that was incredible. It was um, it just it's hard to explain until you step into the world of ayahuasca. Like ayahuasca is so much more than just a uh, a, a trip. You know, she's like the universe of understanding the universe. Um, but anyway, let's talk about the changes I've seen inside of my of myself. Um, I'm now vegan. So yeah, I, I've gone vegan. I've become one of them people. <laughs> I don't eat meat anymore. Um, I don't want to eat spirits of animals which have been tortured. And again, it's not that I'm against anyone eating meat. It's just that I'm against the way how it's mass produced, farmed, and animals are just being literally destroyed. It's like the Holocaust for animals. So it's very unconscious behavior with us. Um, so it's about becoming more conscious to what you're putting in your body. And don't get me wrong, if you're going out and you're hunting and killing an animal, you're then having a whole spiritual connection with like tracking the animal, going towards the animal, you know, and then when you kill it, you use every single part of it. You use you use the meat to eat, you use the organs to eat, you're using the fur for clothing. You know, it has the of times in the world when we need to uh, eat like this, especially when you're in a really cold climate. So yeah, what, what's new with, with me since I've been back in this country? You see, I've got a guy from Assassin's Creed behind me. <laughs> He's ginger, he doesn't want to get burned in the sun. You know, it's like, uh, I've grown my hair as well, as you can see. My hair's getting, um, I'm trying to grow it long. Viking. A kind of <laughs> Viking style hair. Um, you know, I, I'm a new person. I feel more happy inside myself. I feel more love. Um, and also, if you've been following my videos for a long time, you knew that I was on a lot of anabolic steroids at one point. Um, and again, it was all destructiveness towards my body. I'm not in the business of destructiveness to my body anymore. I will never go down that road ever again. I feel more spiritually connected to me, to my environment around me. I feel more more in the flow of the presence of God's consciousness as such. Even though like now I'm a bit confused, like coming back to England has been um it's been an interesting experience with coming back. Like there's friendships, new friendships I've gained. Some people have kind of like disappeared from my life and I wasn't expecting them to. So it's been very, very interesting um, being back. It's just the whole process of everything. Uh, but yeah, now I am back. I'm going to start making some more videos about each experience I had with ayahuasca. So stay tuned. This is just a quick video of me saying, what's up, I'm back. And I'm back to uh, posting more videos. So yeah, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Keep it real. Love, Show peace to everyone. Eh? Show them the area we're in now. I'll show you the area, look at this. And how free everything is, and it's why we're here. And this isn't my life on a daily basis as well. Like, it can be. It, it can be. Like, I live in a built up area of uh, in a place called Luton, and I'm, uh, I'm actually not that far away. How many miles away are we? 40. We're about 40 miles out of Luton. 50 maybe. We've been chilling out on a boat, now we're on a kayak going down the river I mean, when the Cambridge weather's nice. Hey? Cambridgeshire. Well. Cambridgeshire, somewhere like that. So remember guys, you want to message me anything, cook me up on uh, you know, my Instagram, R-E-M-M-B-E-R-W-H-Y-89. I'll message you back. Um, yep, and I'm going to start making some videos soon about my experiences with the medicine ayahuasca. And yeah, just some really interesting, profound stories at the time when I met Jesus. But I'll save that for the next video. Peace.